Hong Kong, the year 1937, witnessed the establishment of the first public post-secondary technical institutions and the launch of the first properly funded course in maritime wireless operating by these very institutions. Hong Kong is indeed honored to play host to an impressive assembly of industry experts and renowned academia at the inaugural conference of the GPRA. And I commend, commend the PolyU for its efforts in bringing this about. Thanks to technology, Gordon and I can make this joint presentation partly with the help of this video recording. The line issue thing is what, what are the things where we can compare it to? What are the regulatory issues that are emerging and uh, ultimately talk about? So let's look at some emerging questions. We have a new geography of trade. I mean, I we're living and working in South America. Our focus will be on uh, logistics performance, but we also will uh, touch upon uh, the topic of connectivity. It's really the first question is, uh, what effects do you think current trends in container shipping is best for a country? Um, one main port with very high connectivity and many smaller ports with low connectivity or Lionel Shipping Connectivity Index and the uh, Logistics Performance Index. How do you see connectivity? Container port business, we have witnessed some rising star moving up the league table very fast in the last 10 years. In order to be a major hub and sustain its position, each of these players must have its own unique features. Perhaps with the exception of Long Beach and LA. We want to experience volatility, come and join our industry because uh, we, the industry as a whole, I think, lost more money than it ever lost ever in 2009. And then the industry made the most money it had ever made ever in 2010. All this happened in 24 months. In his months. opening remark this morning, mentioned about this uh, one, road, uh, one belt and one road policy. It's really about connecting from uh, China uh, and all the way Europe. The decisions by supply chains is the shipper who decides where to produce, assemble, maybe uh, consume, and, the, and uh, reassemble, and so on. You know, what's the most cost-effective way for us to, to uh, offer a service between, between two points? I'm actually a bit worried that if you just take these indices and think, oh, uh, some country is less connected to the other one, let's do something about it. Now, that certainly is a big uh, component to the whole community. Some of the conclusions from further research do not coincide when you consider uh, power service. Now, for those who do not know short sea shipping, try to do that at the same time, short sea shipping, so it's just the same time. It's just the same time. It seems that the of rail and trucking Hong Kong is a logistic hub, well supported by sea, land and air connectivity. But at the same time, we face challenges of land shortage, inadequate human resources, dealer competition in the region, the name for the fish. The shipping is the center of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University is proud to host this conference in Hong Kong. In response to the challenges faced by the port and related sectors, including shipping and logistics industry. In fact, the GPRA was well described, and we had a first conference successfully in Sydney. Now we moved over to Hong Kong, we moved forward to Germany.